Hey, welcome back to Lady Trady Australia. And yep, today I am in the toilet. So I'm hoping to make this one a quick one today. And what I'm doing is replacing a broken toilet roll holder. So I did my best to search Bunnings for a similar uh, fitting. What I've done is I have used an Allen key to take the top off. So just to show you what was on there. So I'd say the people that lived here before me um, bumped it really, or the kids broke it off. It snapped out of there. There's a tiny little screw underneath that uses an Allen key to get out. So what I did was I unscrewed it and it just lifts straight off. So what I need to do now is I need to put my new toilet roll holder on top of that. If you try to find something similar, you might save yourself a little bit of trouble here because I can literally just put this, hopefully if it fits, straight on top of there. Now, I am not so lucky. It is slightly different size. So easy to fix. All right. So I've just taken the seat on the throne myself just to get comfortable and get to my work area. I'm going to unscrew the existing plate that's there. <clears throat> I'm just using my drill just to save time. If you don't have a drill, you can do it by hand. Have a Phillips head screwdriver handy all the time. Easy peasy, off it comes. Oh, spoke too soon. They've applied this after painting, so it's quite stuck. Hmm. And that is a problem. So bear with me, I'm gonna grab some tools. Okay, so I grabbed myself a flat head screwdriver. I'm just gonna see if I can gently, yeah, there we go, get that off. Okay, it's taken a bit of bark off with it there, a bit of paint. So they've definitely painted and applied and screwed that in on fresh, on fresh paint and it just has acted like a glue. So never fear because we will be covering that up anyway. Now before I tighten that first screw all the way to the wall, I'm going to tighten up that second screw in the bottom spot and then when they're both in the right position and I'm happy with it, I'll tighten them both. So I'm going slow, trying to take it easy. When you get to the stud, you really do have to apply a bit more pressure. Okay, I'm going back up to the top, tighten that up. I'll turn the bottom line again. If my dad was here, he'd be saying, use a screwdriver, do it by hand. Maybe I'm lazy, I don't know. All right, hard bit is done. So now we can place this on and I'm gonna use my Allen key to, which fits into this small sl screw at the bottom and I'm gonna twist it around and tighten it up. So general rule of thumb, righty tidy, loosey lefty. So turning to the right. It is a little awkward. Expect it to be a little bit awkward getting it in and holding it so it doesn't fall off at the same time. There's a little bit of paint off um, from the previous holder, which was a larger circle. So I'll just touch that up with a really fine paintbrush and a little bit of paint you won't even notice. And my little boo-boo, putting that tiny little dent in the wall, I will use some white filler to fill that up. Now, if you don't know how to use filler for dents in plaster walls, um, check out my other video that gives you a quick tutorial on how to do that. So, beautiful.